Hey yo, what up YouTube? It's your boy Key AJ back at y'all again with another video today. Today's video we are discussing before we even get to the discussion, make your sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Leave your thoughts down in the comment section, man. On today's subject, today's subject, let's talk about these badges that keep people complaining about. And our main focus is the Limitless Takeoff badge. Now, I've been seeing multiple content creators, multiple streamers complain about Limitless Takeoff. I have no problems with Limitless Takeoff. I have no problems with it in the world. No problems with you, your slasher. You post a takeoff from a certain distance. So, I have no problems with it. I use it a lot. One thing I do have a problem with is the quick drops off one. Now, that's the only way lim some limitless takeoff does require you using quick drops off one. Some of them do. Some of them don't. It's depending where you're taking off from. So, if you can if, if you can nerf the the required, not the requirements, the 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 the, 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 the dunk itself. Cool, I'm fine. Have no problems with it. You nerf the if you have a cool down system to that to that dunk to that quick drop off one. I'm fine with it because you see it multiple multiple times in the wreck, in the park, in stage, pro am. Uh. Anywhere you play online, my career, you see that dunk pop up frequently. Now, as you see from the title on the thumbnail, we talk about badges. Now, my gripe is with the community is that y'all just talking about one badge. Y'all not talking about how Clint Breaker is messing with deep with with these lockdowns. Y'all not talking about Agent 3 that is completely broken because if you look at Agent 3, it says spin jumpers and fading from 3. Now, in the comment section, give me one current NBA player that shoots consistently leaners from three. Consistently from three. I'll wait. Okay. Now, this I I use now when I have Agent 3 on, I use Agent 3 for mid-range only. That's what I think Agent 3 should be used for. Just take the three out of it. It should be only used for mid-range spin jumpers, mid-range mid fades. All that is. If you go look into Kevin Durant's badge, Kevin Durant's badges, uh, the Marta Rosen badges, they have it on Hall of Fame. And their mid-ranges, no, Durant, no, I can't say Durant, because Durant is, has a high three ball and a high mid-range too. But, the Rosen's mid range is higher than his three ball, and if you play against the rent in my, if you play against the Rosen in my career, he takes more leaning mid ranges than he takes leaning threes, especially on Hall of Fame. So, I 2K, if you watch this video, take Agent Three and make it a completely completely mid-range badge make it completely mid-range badge because I know you're gonna watch this video so make agent 3 a complete mid-range badge because there's no way everybody has to shoot consistently from leaning threes there's no way there's no way in, in, in the NBA or in this game that you shoot consistently with leaners Ain't happening. Now, talk about Clamp Breaker. 
Clamp Breaker broke defense. Because before Clamp Breaker was introduced, the lockdowns were being lockdowns. Yeah, they, they took a they they took a hit when it comes to steals and playing playing inside perimeter defense and inside defense. They did take a hit. They did take a hit. I had a center last year. They we I did take a hit on that. But now with this clamp breaker badge, you can't play no perimeter defense. All you have to do is hop back and clamp breaker will pop up. Cause you broke the you broke the defender down. There's no there's no anti well, I'm not gonna say anti cheat, but there's no there's no reverting back to getting back on defense because as soon as you hop back, easy blow by. So that's when Clint Breaker is completely useless. Now I tried it without I tried playing without Clint Breaker. And the defense is just fine. And the defense, it, the defense with defense, without clamp breaker on. When I have it on, it's a cheat code. So I, we, I want y'all to revamp clamp breaker as well, or just remove it out the game. And so the, these lockdowns, these two ways, can play legit defense. Legit defense. I don't care what you do to the sliders on defense but make sure defense matters make sure defense matters because if you don't you have a bunch of lockdowns moving to offensive players it's going to be an offensive game there will be no more lockdowns there would uh, i can't say no more lockdowns but there will be more offensive players they, they they're going to try to add defense to their offense offensive build but not enough defense to hold it down so mm, now the bat now let me talk about the bat what badges are useless comeback kid useless uh clutch clutch performer clutch star whatever it is is useless uh, I don't see nobody running that badge besides the new people on the on the game. But the OGs, the mid tier, top tier, god tier uh, content creators don't run those two badges. Uh, what else? Mm, I don't run Green Machine. I see some people say they don't run Green Machine at all. So it's a 50 50 thing with Green Machine. Oh, what else is there? Blinders, I see people run. Dead I see people run. Limitless range need to be tweaked, but not to the point where it's not usable. So, oh, mm, that's probably it for badges. But oh, one more badge. Freaking not ankle braces. What's that badge? That's in the shooting category. Oh man. Oh. Uh, space creator. Space creator does not work. Does not work at all. I don't know if I'm using it wrong. Somebody let me know down in the comments. But space creator does not work. I don't know if it stopped working in the patch or what. I have space creator on silver, so if you leave it, leave it, leave it down in the comments. Do I need to put space creator higher on my builds, or just don't use that badge at all? So if y'all out there use a space creator and it works for y'all, let me know in the comment section. Because every time I use it, I don't create the space, and I run shot creating takeover and sharp take. On most of my builds, unless I'm in a wreck. Unless I'm in a wreck, I run a lock and sharp or lock and slashing. Whatever build I'm on that day. And whatever position they put me in, I'm going to run those type of badges. So, yeah, man. But 
to the slashers out there, they're trying to they're trying to nerf y'all with this limited takeoff, but they really need to nerf uh, Agent Three. It's me, boy. I'm out of here. Peace.